What's up everyone, um, just a tiny quick update, um, I made a video uh, a couple of days ago trying to show you the interior of the car with a bit better lighting but it still can't get enough light in here with the garage door open and everything for you to actually be able to see clearly inside so I'm going to have to work on some different lighting. But what I'm doing today is sorting out uh, all the screws. I'm going to take all these out and <coughs> put in um, different screws in the bags and put a sticky note over the top of where it goes and then take pictures uh, of where they go um, so I can easily put it all back together again. So I'm going to do that now and uh, I'll get back to you once I'm done. Okay, what's up everyone? Um, I've now finished um, labelling everything and um, I'm just finishing up, tidying up. But I'll quickly show you what I have done. So here is my, the bottom of my toolbox, which originally <laughs> had different bags of screws and random bits that you might need around the house that came with it um, just boxing with stuff um, so I have put in the different things that I need uh, so four times the black top plate screws uh, it says bonnet hatch uh, bonnet latch in brackets so that's these one two three four I call this the back plate, uh, top plate, and it says bonnet latch because that's where the bonnet latch receiver thing is. Um, so yeah, four times that, and then two times left, two times right, so I know how many is on each side, but that's pretty obvious anyway. Uh, and then I've got 10, 10 mil because I, when I go back to put them back in, it's useful knowing how how big they are so I can just get the right part and put them straight back in and then I've got number one there in a circle and it goes one two three four five six um, with those I've taken a picture uh, of their location on, on my phone so one two three four five six and I'll put those in a folder uh, on my computer so I know exactly where everything goes. So I've got the four black top plate screws, the plastic clips which go on the back there, the grill screws which go in there, um, the headlight plates which obviously go in the headlights which I can't see right now, um, the four black front plate, so still the black plate but in the front there on both sides and then the bottom screw which is right underneath the car so that's what I've got so far um, I just thought I'd do that to make things a little bit easier when I'm putting them back together and really I wouldn't really be able to do this if I hadn't have done that it would have got a bit messy it was getting a bit out of hand <coughs> <coughs> as it was um, because I previously had them in tomato soup jars and I actually, while I was doing this, I now have a tiny, tiny, tiny wee little pasta on my little finger because I was putting pieces of paper in this tin, uh, yeah, tin, and I went to go take them out to put them in something else to put them in the bin and I got my hand stuck in it and forgetting that the edge of a tomato soup can is like a serrated edge and it's horrible and sharp uh, sliced my finger right open so that's the first wound of the build um, so I'm just going to finish tidying up everything in here because there's old tissue and oily stuff uh, get rid of all these tins um, and now that everything's sorted out I will hopefully make a bit more progress um, I've 
put together a list of all the things I want to do and any additions that I want to make. So I'll uh, try and show you that in a well a video that will come out after this one. I don't really know what the word is for that. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so that's it for today and stay tuned for more building and repair building restoring and repairing and if you have any questions or any suggestions any pro tips let me know in the comments and thanks for watching